Today we're building a uh, outdoor enclosure, uh, the model 8535 from TSI, which is designed for dust monitoring in a perimeter of a uh, job site. Um, so the first piece, we have the enclosure case. It's designed to be weather and dust proof so that the equipment doesn't get damaged during use. Uh, we've got the dust track, which would sit inside of the case and, and draw in a constant sample of air. Uh, we've got our wiring harnesses. And lastly, the lead acid batteries that will power everything. In setting up the dust track enclosure, uh, the first thing we'll do is take our dust track, uh, in this case the DRX model, and we'll set that in the slot on the uh, enclosure case. And that straps down with a Velcro strap. You want to just make sure it's nice and tight so it can't slide around. Uh, we have an auto zero module that we're going to install on this unit. Uh, so that has uh, a port that you connect to the sampling inlet on the dust track, which should just snap into place. And then you would connect this cable to the port on the back of the dust track, which then turns to lock in place. Connect the sampling hose to the inlet. And then we'll move on to installing the batteries. So we use uh, lead acid uh, 12 volt uh, gel batteries to power all of the equipment in the case and uh, those have uh, their own slots that they'll sit in. So we'll set this guy in here and use the velcro straps again to tightly secure it. And the other one in the other side. And we usually use two batteries when we're doing a uh, really long-term study. Uh, usually they're running the equipment for more than 12 hours at a time. So now we'll take our uh, wiring splitter cable and this connects to both batteries. And then the splitter cable runs directly into this distribution block. And uh, so when you plug this in, all of the ports are now able to be powered um, from both of the batteries. So you can you connect any uh, device with these connectors to any of the ports to run it. So then we'll plug in the uh, dust track, which should turn it on right away. Uh, if the dust track for some reason didn't turn on, you would want to check the cables to make sure there's no breaks uh, and just make sure that the batteries are charged. And the last power connection we'll make is to the Theomis device, which is a remote monitoring uh, data collection. So the power port for that is right on the bottom. That just plugs in there and you should see the power indicator turn on. And then the last cable we're going to connect is a serial to USB cable. And that's just going to transfer the data from the dust track to the Theomis for uh, the to get uploaded to a uh, server. Mm -hmm. That just screws in there. And then you just want to make sure you have your antenna connected so that it can get uh, GPS reception. So once you have all of that set up, you can go ahead and uh, press the start button once you have all of your settings uh, set up the way you want it.